It's Gaggle of Geeks. What are you geeking about? I don't know who to start with with this. So let's let our guests go first. Fonz. What's up? What are you geeking about? Right now, um, I like The Simpsons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What are you on a specific episode or season? No, I just throw it on <laughs> and then I just like love it. Do you guys know Simpsons Tapped Out? The video game? Yeah, it's like on your phone. Uh-huh. I'm like addicted to it. It's like uh, Farmville, but with The Simpsons. For real? Yeah. Do you know that there was a Grand Theft Auto, but The Simpsons? No. Yeah, it's Road Rage, wasn't it? It was called oh, The Road Simpsons Rage. Road Rage and it the came best. out back on the PS2. It's basically Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Right? Is yeah. it not Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. It's Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> you could hit Gil all the time. That was my favorite person to, to run over because he would just be like, <laughs> Gil, Gil. <laughs> like, he would always be like the most pathetic whimper anytime. Oh, I hurt my kidney. <laughs> <laughs> or like Mo Sislak was dope. Man, they don't make Simpsons anymore like they used to. Is that a weird saying? No. They're I- on season 30 what? 30... Three thirty-two by now. Have you watched all of them? Yeah, How- I've watched a good majority of them. Was it all on Disney Plus or? Uh, yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. Mm. What do you think is the best era? Uh, the Conan O'Brien era. He wrote for like three seasons in the early nineties. It was the best, and um, <clears throat> they had like this writer who would uh, write at Denny's every single day. And he was like an en- enigmatic sort of character. He's only had one photo taken of him ever and then when that denny's sold he bought the booth that he would sit in and he put it in his home and he just started writing in there what yeah that is a mess (laughs) the more you know yeah the magic i didn't know that yeah (laughs) (laughs) well rob what are you geeking about this week so um i like in high school i loved scrubs and so it's been one of those shows that like in my head i'm always like yeah scrubs is really good but then like as i've gone on i'm just like uh, yeah, it was fine, and somehow stumbled on it again, and now I'm just like, I was like, oh, we'll start in, we'll start in season three because the rest sucks, and then like was dying laughing, so I was like, well, we'll start with episode one, season one, and now I'm hooked again. So I gotta ask yeah. you now, do you have a favorite episode or season with Scrubs? Um, no, because I watched them when I watched them, it was so sporadic that it was like everything was out of order because it was just like reruns on TV and stuff. So now that it's streaming, it's like too sophisticated for me. So. You know an actor that's in Scrubs that keeps showing up in movies, like older movies? Dr. Cox. Like, he keeps yeah. showing, like, Office Space. I didn't know he was in there. And when I, saw, I was like, oh, crap, it's him. Yeah. And I think he was in a war film. I, uh, which one was it? Was it Platoon? Saving Private Ryan? And I think, oh, was it Saving? It might have been Saving Private Ryan. it was Ryan. Saving, maybe. Yep. I don't know. I had a huge war film binge, and I, I they all kind of bled into one. <laughs> No pun intended. That wasn't meant to be. <laughs> what have you been geeking about? Uh, so I've been, I rewatched all the Lord of the Rings extended. Ooh. Yeah, dude. It's beautiful. Um, but I went to Barnes and Noble and bought like the whole collection. So mm-hmm. like the Hobbit and the books. And I read the Hobbit in one day. Dang. Yeah. I wish the movie could be one movie. I did too. And I remember watching the movie being like, well, this, isn't in the book, you know, because I read the book back in like elementary, mm. but I want to rewatch the movies, but I saw how long they were like three hours long. And I'm like, Return dude, that the King is four, isn't it? It extended. Yeah. But it's crazy. The thing with the Hobbit though, is like, it's three parts for one book. That's only 300 pages. Mm. So I don't know. It's been, I'll, I'll probably do it. Soon. What day did you watch all those? It's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Dang. <laughs> nice. And Sunday I went to go buy the book and then finish the Hobbit on Tuesday. Mm, okay so noise well i've been been geeking about this there's this netflix show um it's like a sketch comedy so show and i think it's like please leave or i think you should leave i think you should leave it's actually really funny like i was surprised by a lot of it like sketch comedy is hit or miss like there's definitely a lot of stuff where it's like like keen pill right you have some of like the hits and then there's some that are kind of like uh it's it's it works but you watch like the hits over and over this has that there's a really funny one where um he gets called into a meeting during lunch and so he's mad about that so he walks in and he puts his food in the sleeve of his shirt and so like he's sitting during the meeting he goes yeah 
Oh, yeah, like starts to eat it. And somebody looks at him and like, are you, are you eating a hot dog? <laughs> and I didn't expect him to say this, but like he turns to the person and he goes, I'm just so tired. <laughs> and then, like, go a little bit deeper into the thing and start eating it more. It's like, that's the saddest statement, but it was so funny. And the delivery was so good. Um, Bob Odenkirk was on it, actually, which, by the way, hope for a speedy recovery with Bob Odenkirk. Like, protect him at all costs, like Betty White. Yeah. Did you hear, you've heard about the, so Better Call Saul this week, he uh, collapsed and then was taken to the hospital for a heart related thing. Heart attack. They, it was confirmed a heart attack yeah. now. They, yeah, he, uh, he came on Twitter and said it was a small heart attack. Ah, that sucks. Yeah. Yeah. I like that guy so much. Yeah. Nobody's awesome, too. I want a sequel. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. I, I was like, who's nobody? But then, <laughs> yeah, that movie is so good. It's so good. It's John Wick, but make Bob Odenkirk John Wick. It's <laughs> yeah. so out. It's so like, cool. Let that happen. It's all And the training that he had to do for that, like, yeah. Don't do too much training, maybe. But let the stunt guy do it. Let the stunt guy do it. The Rock lets the stunt guy do it all the time. Um, uh, who's the guy? Bruce Willis. He. I don't think he's been in a movie since '96 because he just has the stunt <laughs> guy go and do the lines and stuff. <laughs> it, it's not hard to find like another. Ball <laughs> I saw a screen grab of somebody of like his latest movie, and it showed like him facing frontwards, and then the behind the shot. His head is like twice his size. <laughs> he's a completely different person. <laughs> That's who's like celebrities that you just love hearing about the behind the scenes stories about. Are you asking me or like, yeah. the, Oh dude, there's gotta be so many that are like, like Nick cage. You don't really hear about like his antics. You just see the antics on the, on the screen. Right. Well, I know, I know the pig bit him and pig. It wasn't, <laughs> really? it wasn't trained. No, that makes and me he, so sad. He joked about dying from sepis <laughs> instead of COVID. Yeah. So uh, I don't know. I like behind Val the scenes drama was, though. Has been notorious. Christian Bale always has stuff like the Terminator scene or Tom Cruise with the COVID rant. Yeah. Tom Cruise is one that's fun to hear about. I think that's one where it's like, what what couch is he jumping on? What's he upset about today? <laughs> <laughs> couch that he's jumping on. <laughs> that's like uh, 2004 or something. How, how many how many zygots or whatever do you need to get out of them? You know, <laughs> that's so good. I missed that. <laughs> it's big. It's like it's big enough for I think Scream would be four to joke about. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the Warriors jersey. They're talking about your outfit. Oh, okay. Well, that was it for what you're geeking about. If you guys want to know, uh, or you want us to know what you're geeking about, leave a uh, comment or email at gaggleGeekShow at gmail.com. Let's move over to our next segment, the, the segment that we all know and love. It's our new 